Hello, and welcome to a rant test via Trainer Road. This is going to be used as a benchmark, kind of, or where I'm currently at. I've never done uh, structured training, so this is my first season. Unfortunately, all the races got canceled, so instead of scrapping everything that I've done, I figure I'll go ahead and do a complete 12. 16 week? Yeah, 16 week training. I'm doing base, base to build specialty. Um, currently, I just finished base and now I'm on to base two, which starts out with a ramp test. Uh, and we'll compare my ramp test from when I first started to now. I did get some illnesses. I was off the bike for five months, but we can go into that later. But for now, let's crank it up and uh, let's start this test. So, this is gonna be at 25 minutes and it just slowly increases every five minutes. And this is gonna get annoying. So just gonna warm up. I think it's a five minute warm up and then it starts to increase. And I'm using a Wahoo kicker, the one with the, the wheel. So I'm looking over here, it's the Trainer Road app and you should be able to see it. Uh, on screen. I think currently my FTP is at 174, which is what my last ramp test determined. I have not done a full 60 minute FTP test. I have done FTP tests in, in Zwift, but I'm no longer using the app. I want a little more structure. So now I use Trainer Road and watch YouTube pretty much. And if you notice, I've got two wide of bars. I've got some 400s coming. These are 440, which I just assumed was my size because that's the size bike I ride comes with 440s. So I've got, I've got my arrow position. About two minutes until we kick this off. Put my shoes up tight. Shoes on tight, tight. Whew. Oh. Gotta turn my fans on. This might get noisy. I got three fans. One up top, one down below. I don't know if the top top's going. There we go. Should be sufficient air for this test. About a minute 30 before we start stepping up. And my shoes up tight. Shoes on tight. And I did take a break 
the last two days. Um, I didn't ride at all in the last two days, so I had some longer rides planned, so I don't know if that's going to affect me. One minute to go. So, another thing I'm looking at when I watch myself. It's not right. I broke my collarbone. And my bike fitter adjusted my hood up a little bit. I'm gonna bring it back. I can see it. Man. Disappointing. Old, 174, new, 187. I was hoping to break 200. My legs were just bricked. What is that like? 21? 21 watts? After a base? So about 76 kilograms, 187, 2.4, 2.4 watts per kilo. So, oh, 
13. I don't know where I got 21. 13 watts. Uh, 13 watt gain after four weeks base. I uh, got a long way to go. But the goal is to document it. I'm gonna do base two coming up and then we'll do another one of these, I think, after uh, base two and then it goes into uh, lost my mind. Base, base two, then we want to build, then we go into specialty. Now I have mine built out for gravel racing, longer endurance rides, uh, shooting for 100, 100 milers. Eventually it's trying to step up to 200 miles. Um, but that's the goal is to document it and see how far I can get with trainer road. And whatever else, I may add in Zwift. I don't, I don't think so though. Uh, it would be just strictly for my entertainment if I added Zwift. But I think the longest rides Trainer Road has me do indoors is two hours. I can live with that. Uh, that's the goal. Document it and then see where I stand at the end of this training season. If you found this entertaining, useful, insightful, like it, comment and subscribe. More videos coming out soon. Thank you.